Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't think this is going to be high enough. Well, we'll see. So, today I got a really good dish for y'all. Something quick and easy. Uh, let me get my garlic powder. So, I've got some handy dandy rice here. Uh, this is just some minute rice. Make sure it's all cooked up good. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put some garlic powder in here because garlic powder is good. Then I purchased this Tyson Grilled and Ready. It's already shredded. Already shredded. Makes it really nice. Um, this is minute rice and you just make as much rice as you want. Um, but I knew I was going to make a big batch of this. So, um, I'm actually going to use, we'll see how much is in there. Yeah, we need two bags. This one's not enough. So I'm going to add two bags of this grilled and ready, um, already shredded chicken. And I'm probably going to end up making too much, but mm, we'll see. Um, then I'm going to add two cans of green chili enchilada sauce. We are making a chicken and rice enchilada casseroles. No tortillas needed. So let me get this all mixed up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I did cut up an onion a little bit. And I'm mixing that in with a little bit of cheese. Because there's more cheese that's going to go on the top. So I'm just mixing all of this together. This is what it looks like. And then I'm going to pour it in 9 by 13 pan and I'm going to cook it at 350 for about 30 minutes just basically so everything gets cut, you know, cooked through or heated through. And um, I'll cut up some tomatoes, onion, and lettuce. So we can put that on top of it if we so choose. And we have sour cream, so. And that's all it is. The rice, when I put it in the water, I put in some of this, um, get it. This Herbox chicken, there's no sodium in it. Um, just to give it more of a chickeny, a chickeny flavor. Is that what you want to call it? And uh, so everything's getting mixed together. So, minute rice, some, and you can use whatever kind of um, shredded chicken you want. I mean, if you got a rotisserie chicken or something, you can go on ahead and shred that and uh, put that with this. Now, I think I shouldn't have made so much rice, <laughs> but I do like rice. So, and that is all there is. Oh, I put in two cans of the green enchilada sauce because they were small cans. So I end up putting in two. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this in the pan. I'm going to put some more cheese on top. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this here is what it looks like. Lord, I made enough to feed an army. I probably could have put this in two pans. Oh well, that's all right because I already know I'm going to like it, so I'm not too worried about it. Now we'll put it in the oven for 350 and we'll have a little taste test in a little bit. Okay, so I found these at the Dollar Tree. Um, I think Kimmy's Kitchen had showed these once and I actually found them. 
So, the refried pinto beans are in a bag. Um, really, all you have to do is microwave on high for a minute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oil in a pan, add a little bit of onion, and then put these in um, and fry it with a little bit of onion. Like, this is my preferred brand. I love Goya. I like the flavor of the Goya beans. Well, La Preferita is pretty good too. But I'm going to give this a go because why not? It's a good slice of fiber. And it says once opened, once opened, keep refrigerated and use within three days. And what's the name of these? La Sierra. Mexico's best seller, it says. So I'm going to try these tonight along with my um, uh, chicken and rice enchilada of what I made enough to feed an army. You'd think we were sitting down for the last supper or something, for heaven's sakes. But we're going to enchiladas and some refried beans. Yum, yum. Okay, y'all. Here's my plate. I got some of this holy guacamole. I got it on a deal, so otherwise I won't pay the prices. Now, uh, I did not put no extra cheese on here. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go get some of that queso fresco. I am. Um, these beans from that pouch, that one tastes bad. They're pretty good. They work really good for a bean burrito. But, I got some chicken and rice. Let's see how this tastes. I just got it out of the oven, it's hot. Mmm. Lord have mercy, this stuff is good. Mmm. This is really good. Now, I did make a little bit too much. But, that's alright, we'll eat it. Now I'm going to go get me some queso fresco. Because I bought some today. <coughs> Excuse me. And that stuff is really good. So, this is what's for dinner, y'all. And it is hosted by. You know, I can never remember who hosts these things. I gotta go back and look. And I'm gonna put their channel down in the description. But this is a really quick and easy <coughs> dump and go meal. You can make as much or as little as you want. I think if I would have just done three cups of rice and one bag of the chicken, I think it would have been fine. But, leftovers are always better. So, we're going to be having leftovers of this at least. So, again, it's an open collaboration. Watch for dinner, all. I think, I think it's hosted by Kimmy's Kitchen. Pop. I will double check and I'll put it in the description box. Happy eating. Okay, so this is an open collaboration hosted by Kimmy's Kitchen and More in Life with Lois. And I put some uh, queso fresco on here. Um, you can just crumble it. This stuff is really good. These beans... These beans are really good. I would buy these again. They would make for some really, really good bean burritos. Yeah, I would definitely buy these again. Now this is um, chicken and rice enchilada casserole. And I do have some guacamole. This is uh, um, the holy guacamole. And anybody that knows me knows I didn't pay full price for this stuff. You know why I would pay full price. So I got some rice, some guacamole, and some chicken. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. 
Mm. That is really good. Now, you can do it with red enchilada sauce if you want. And I prefer the green myself. Um, which is why I use green enchilada sauce. Um, no tortillas in this one. Um, and it's really good. It's really good. And these beans, too, for, I've never heard of that brand before. And uh, I thought, well, give them a try. So, if you want refried beans, I would recommend these. It says there's salt in them, but I had to add a little bit more to mine because I like my beans with salt. I don't like a lot of salt on stuff, but the beans I do. No. Did I make enough to feed an army? I surely did. But that's alright. Leftovers are really, really good. So, open collaboration. Chicken and rice. Enchilada casserole. Hosted by Kimmy's Kitchen and more. And Life with Lois. Go check out the other channels. Happy eating.